So this is a quick video on the trading mistakes, the trading mistake I made today on CLRI. Um, it was first set off the 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 first. Uh, let me let me go back a step. The one of the reasons that precipitated the mistake was I made some good money on CLSN. It was a great trade for the room. We stayed in the trade. Uh, I entered this at 562, which was uh, around well when it broke over this 550 lever. I got in at 562, pop pulled back, held support, and started to trade up. And I and I pasted it out at 593, six and a quarter, 640, and then got stopped out of the balance at 625. And so you can see that this actually double topped up here at 650. And so of course the reason I top ticked it, which I normally do but only by luck is because I'm selling all the way up. I don't know where the top's going to be, but it got up close, got to a whole dollar or, you know, half or a whole dollar and it, and it got up to the close to the top of the channel. So I sell that and then it broke down and I, I got stopped out and I'm out of the trade. The good news on that is I made $2,326. Then the bad news is about that is I made $2,326 and I'm thinking, pretty happy. So I got emotions running rather than just forgetting all about all that and actually quitting trading on, you know, for the day or whatever, because I, I made my goal. But anyways, so then I trade, uh, I trade the FMCI. I got, it was, it was nothing wrong with that trade. It was good. It, it sold off so sharply before I had a chance to exit. And uh, so I took a, I took a thousand dollar kiss on that trade, but you know, that happens. Here's where I made the big mistake, and here's why. So now I'm up, you know, I'm still $1,300 $1, cushion, so that's okay, which is a mistake. You never look at your, you never think about how much cushion you have when you're making a trade. You rely only on the patterns. Just because I got a cushion doesn't mean uh, that I should, I should forget the patterns. Now, if we look back at CLSN, that's a bit different. I do have a good cushion in here, so I can let my remaining stock run because I'm, I'm up big. And uh, but I still, at the pattern breaks, I exit the pat. I exit the pattern, and I, I take you know I take my money and run. But I leave some just in case it keeps going. I give some back, but I still make a good profit. So that's different. I have a cushion. I've taken my risk off the table, which I normally do early. I take some of my risk off the table early, and in case it comes against me very hard, and then I can get out of the stock and still be at least break even. But that's that's different. I have a cushion. I can afford to let it run, but I can't afford to let it break the pattern, which I didn't. It broke down. I sold out. But now I do have a cushion. And so I'm trading on that cushion. And then Tyler alerted this. He said this could be a double cup and handle pattern. It breaks out over it. I take the trade. Actually, I waited for the pullback. I got back on the pullback in here. So this is all good. This is all good trade. There's nothing wrong with this. But I take the pattern, pulls back. Uh, it pa No, that's not what happened. Sorry. It pulled back and then it popped. I was watching it closely. Sorry, take that back. I was watching it closely, pulled back, faked out, faked out, and then it broke through uh, the level. This line wasn't in here yet because it's not really, it's not really relevant at the point, at the moment. You just have to keep fanning it out. Uh, and I know for a fact that when a stock pops like this, closes near the bottom and the next candle is red, it's going to go lower. But no, I had a cushion, so um, I, you know, I said, okay, well, I'll stop it. You know, I'll see if it holds support at 3.30. Uh, it didn't. It went through it like a, like through a hot knife through hash and came down and held support. So here's my, here's my, so there's my first mistake. I know that for a fact that this is a, this is a pattern that doesn't work. So get out of the stock, but oh no, let's see if it holds support at 3.30. Boom, goes through there, doesn't hold at all. Then it starts to flag. So I say to myself, well, it's flagging. Yeah, you idiot, it's a bear flag. 
I mean, that's a bare flag. What were you thinking? I wasn't. I had a cushion, so I was I was prepared to you know hold it. Then it sells off again. Down, oh, oh, by the way, I averaged down a bit in here. Another mistake. I, I said, okay, I'm 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 in this at higher level. I'll trade out of it. I'll, I'll take some stock. I'll trade out of it. So I buy the stock in here for for no particular reason other than I make another mistake. It's a bear flag. Boom! It fails the bear flag, and trades down to three ten. And it does hold support in here. So I'm thinking, okay, this needs to hold 310. If it doesn't, uh, I've got to get out of the trade, but I'm going to try and average down or trying to uh, trade out of this trade. So I do. I, I And now we've got this big declining tops line in here. And, I, and you hear me say it all the time. The more times a stock tests a level, either resistance or support, the more likely it's to go through it. So I'm, I'm buying stock in here. Now my average is 328. And the stock gets up to 329. I could have been out of this trade flat. But oh no. Oh, it looks like it's going to break through the resistance area. Fails, pulls down, breaks through the 310. Okay, it's going to hold support at 3. I should be okay. Pops back up, gets onto this trend line. Oh, it should hold this trend line. I keep wishing. I keep praying. These are all these are all things you don't do. So it breaks down. I'm still in the stock. Then when it breaks three, I throw up my hands. I sit and and I go to the toilet and throw up. Just kidding. I throw up my hands and I'm out of the trade. So I lose a thousand bucks. When I knew up here, I could have been out of this for you know a couple hundred dollar loss, or here I could have been out flat like but because i had a cushion oh and then of course i had a contractor come and i sort of lost contract it lost you know the the concentration on i had to go talk to him and sure enough the, the market comes off and down it goes i mean this is a big declining tops line here's major resistance this is a bear flag this is a this is a pattern that you sell stock you don't hope and pray so anyways, um, so, you know, that cost me over a thousand bucks. But uh, fortunately, I had, you know, not, it's not fortunate at all. I had a good profit, 2300. I should still have that. I should still have 2000. But I gave, I gave a whole bunch of it back. And why? Because I didn't, I let my emotions let me trade. I didn't, and I hoped and I prayed. And I wished and instead of following the patterns and getting out of the stock. So there you go. The, the, 